Assalamu alaikum and welcome to another topic in our training series on Pastas 5. Uh, this topic is uh, regarding calculating the interference. If we have uh, any planning level interference, I mean if there is any intrasystem interference within the network, uh, which we can find on the planning phase and then we can remove it. Because if there is any external interference, so because this interference is not known to path loss in any way, because path loss is uh, not an uh, online tool, it's an offline tool, it's a planning tool. So it can only tell you if the system is generating any interference for the other, if one link is generating any interference for another link. So this interference can be calculated and then you have some ways to avoid and to remove this interference so that at least on the planning level you know that there is no interference however if there is any other reason that if you are sure that there is some interference but if this interference is not indicated by the loss then you have to go to the site you have to go to the link and then you have to use some external tool like a spectrum analyzer and then you can check if there is any external interference present but in this video we should tell uh, that how we can calculate the intrasystem interference so this is our test network uh, as you can see this is a very small network it's, it does not have a lot of links it does not have a lot of sites as well this is the test network that I had made for this uh, training session only. So this network I can say very easily that this network should not have any interference. There are only two links and it's very difficult that two links start interfering with each other. So uh, I am very sure that at the end of this we will not find any interference but just to see how it can be calculated so this is our main uh, window uh, um, so if we go on the seventh tab the interference tab and if you click on the interference tab you will there is a draw in the drop down list uh, this second uh, item is of our interest calculate interference so if you will click on this calculate interference this a small window will open and here also you can see that Pathos is also telling us that this is intrasystem interference. This, this interference is within the system, it's not from any external source. There are some parameters that we can change if we want. Like for example, how much far we want to go. For example, we want to go here 200 kilometers far for the links which are at a distance of 200 kilometers they will also be used to calculate the interference of the network also we should not just check the exact frequency we should see a range of frequency up to 150 megahertz from our main frequency and uh, the minimum level that we should start to see in the report is minus 115 if the interference is only minus 115 still it will come in the report and one thing good in plus 5 which is a bit different from plus 4 is that we can make some scope of this study like for example uh, we can sectionalize our links and for example if we put some links in a different section or in a different uh, we give them a different uh, name so we can have uh, some for example five or six or ten sections of the network if it is a bit big network we can have more sections as well and then here we can select that which section we want to check against which section of the network generally we check sections within the same section because uh, the interference is within the network it's not coming generally from outside but for any reason we can 
check the interference from some other uh, sections as well so the sections can be made based on geographical locations for example there is any big structure like some mountain or some valley there if some things are in a valley and we know that these things cannot be affected by any other link of the network and we can make this valley links in a in a separate section so that whenever we have to add any new link then we just have to calculate the interference of this valley only because we know that these links are not affected from any other side so this sectionalization is is a good feature in path of life and uh, we can uh, use it to uh, to analyze the links very fast so once we are done with putting everything here then we can click on calculate and as i was telling you that there is no interference case in this Uh, example otherwise uh, it should have generated a big report where we can know the interfering link and the victim link and how much threshold has been degraded so once we know that which links are causing uh, a major threshold degradation on some link then we can point some link which is common in uh, all the cases and we can change the frequency of that specific link and then we can get rid of interference and there are uh, more other ways i mean which i hope uh, that uh, once you will be working in some good environment and you will learn how interference can be removed from the network it's not very difficult it's uh, quite easy so but it takes some time to calculate and then change some frequency then recalculate and then recalculate one good thing is in interference that it gives you a high low violation report as well so after running the interference you can check the high low violations and uh, here as i was sure there should be no we have only two links and they are also not connected to each other so we have no high low violation here but if you had any high low violation in your network then you will find it in this report so i hope this uh, video should be good for you inshallah it, it must have given you some answers to some of your question or maybe you if you are a new to path loss then you should have learned something out of it and if you have any question or if you have any comment then you can contact me on email or you can contact me on my linkedin profile but please uh, subscribe to my channel so that you can uh, see new videos as soon as they arrive and if you have any comment any clarification please feel free to contact me with any of these ways and hope uh, inshallah see you in the any my next video which will be uploaded soon assalamu alaikum